hey are you looking to host your wordpress site on a local server that is on your computer or are you fed up with uh, softwares like wamp mamp or xamp because they have lots of complexities and moving parts or are you a web development agency looking for a faster and more reliable way uh, to develop your wordpress website uh, in an offline environment i have used plenty of softwares for hosting wordpress websites offline over the last few years but now i have uh, encountered a tool called local by flywheel and it's by far the best solution that i have encountered for hosting your wordpress websites on an offline environment so let's get started so let me install local by flywheel here it is i have searched earlier so all right so this is the website you can click on the free download button here and the download should start and this software enables you to host your wordpress website locally and this software is by flywheel hosting you don't necessarily need to have flywheel hosting for this software to be operable but it integrates with flywheel hosting very well uh, ever since i created this video uh, they have a new update that enables you to set up your wordpress site uh, in lightning force and that feature is called local lightning and um, yes as of creating this video um, the local lightning feature is in their beta version so local lightning beta version so it will be rolled out to public soon maybe when you're uh, watching this video so this is the link okay i'm using mac os let me download this it's around 207 mb all right now the download has been completed let me open this drag this app to applications folder all right the copying is now in process it's the first time it's verifying So introducing local pro, the onboarding process, let me quit that. Yes, you can see the interface of local by flywheel is very neat, very minimalistic. So here you are offered to create a new site and here you have your um, login portal for flywheel hosting if you have web hosting with them. And here you will have a list of your sites and here you can again connect to flywheel so let me go over to preferences here you have light mode and also dark mode you need to apply it let me keep it as dark mode and terminal i'm using terminal app on mac let me apply and new site defaults so whenever i uh, create a new site what should be the defaults for it so the environment will be preferred admin email would be um, my email and domain suffix dot local or dot com whatever you can choose but for local websites we typically choose a dot local and the sites path will be under local sites folder under the root directory so you can browse it or um, by default this will be the path and exporting advanced and also blueprints there are currently no blueprints um, uh, created i will uh, shortly show you how to create blueprints and reuse them across all your sites so all right this is about um, configurations so now let us create a new site whenever you click on this button create a new site so it will ask for the site name so let me name it as my awesome site okay and here in advanced options um, you can override um, the default settings that you have set previously like you know your site domain name and also the site path and also blueprint right i have not created any blueprint so i don't have any option here so let me continue and here wordpress username and password so username would be akshay and password would be password and the wordpress email it's auto populated uh, based on the settings and add site so it's now staging up the site the process should be quite quick because it is local lightning 
the site has been installed now so i can view my site by clicking on this view site button have your default theme 2019 or 2020 installed and uh, you can also head over to the admin page of your wordpress account and just log in with your uh, provided username and password actually and the password is password let me log in here it is your brand new wordpress installation with no plugins installed only hello world post sample page and a wordpress committer this is a brand new wordpress installation so you can make any changes to this wordpress installation for example let me go to settings and uh, let me make some changes like you know my awesome site let me add in my name right i have made some changes so i can make some more changes i guess like i can add a new plugin i don't know man like i can add a classic editor plugin here let me activate it all right so now i have added one plugin right so i can save this site as blueprint right the blueprint name is my awesome site so it will create a blueprint of this entire site with classic editor plugin installed and also you know uh, the site title with my name so the blueprint has been created now i when i create a new site here i can select um use my blueprint for creating this site and i can name it as um test site number two create site from blueprint you can see it's importing the blueprint to this site and it's asking me for admin password and here it is my second site is now active so it used the same username and password because it's a blueprint so i can use the same login credentials and you have this plugin already installed so like blueprint is essentially a great way to clone your site um, so that you know you don't have to install the same plugins repeatedly um, throughout all your sites all right, so you can just delete any of your sites by just right clicking on it and just clicking on the delete button. Move site files to trash on Mac here. All right, so this is the site, right? So you can right click and you can view site, admin dashboard, reveal in finder. These are the core files, WordPress files, WP content, WP admin, WP includes, and all those WordPress core files are available here. And you also have open site shell, restart the server, stop the server for this site, export this site, or as you can also save as blueprint, you can change the domain name of this site, rename. So you can stop this site so that whenever you click on uh, whenever you try to load the site it will not load in your local server you can start site stop site it's all pretty quick right especially with the local lightning feature so and you have enable live link that means like as of now this site is only accessible um, through my local computer and if you want this site to be uh, accessible throughout the globe then you can enable the live link it will assign a dynamic URL for this installation. So this is the dynamic URL. So this URL, if I email someone who is not on my local network, still he will be able to access this uh, site here. Suppose if you are running a web development agency, you can just send this URL to your client and he can access that site uh, even if he is not in your uh, local uh, network. So this is a unique URL for your um, site. So you can disable this. If you want once your client reviewed his site and if you have flywheel hosting account you can connect this site to live flywheel servers if you are making use of any other hosting providers other than flywheel no problem you can make use of wordpress plugins like wp vivid or updraft plus to easily migrate your uh, local site uh, to a live server and apart from that when it comes to database management you can open adminer it's similar to php my admin so you can see all your databases and manipulate them do some changes and all those geeky uh, database or you know uh, sql related stuff and also you can download uh, sql pro 
Mm, and you have SSL provision here too. You can just click on the trust button here and just enable HTTPS for your local uh, site. And also you have the utilities. You can have um, your inbox mail hog here. Initially I was using many tools like on Windows I was using WAMP, on Mac, MAMP, XAMP. But local by Flywheel is the software that gave me seamless experience when it comes to um, installing and managing WordPress locally. And this is a must have software for WordPress developers who'd like to develop their plugins or any other themes in local environment. Hey guys, hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any doubts regarding hosting your WordPress website locally, then let me know in the comment section below. And if you have liked this video, just hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for my channel for more videos. Thank you.